Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a story about why it's really important that you continue learning and doing your own self-learning outside of office hours. The reason I thought about making this video is because I just basically had this book arrive today and it's a book which my manager had told me to get and when he told me to get it, I knew that I would be reading this in my own time. I would never be doing this kind of reading or learning within office hours. And to me, that's absolutely fine. The expectation is that you do some learning outside of office hours. That to me is perfectly fine, perfectly reasonable. And it never really occurred to me that it wasn't reasonable until maybe a few years ago when I had this interaction with a graduate. So this graduate, who I was kind of mentoring a bit and he was doing work for me, and, and we were working together on a couple of projects and I basically said, you know, this is some new material. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was some new stuff which he hadn't really dealt with before, which is fine. And I kind of pointed him at some books that he needed to read for reference and for learning. And he basically didn't take it very well because he kind of went to complain to a colleague of mine. And what was funny is that I'm really good friends with that colleague and that colleague basically just came around and told me everything which this graduate had said and he was like I can't believe that um, Darren has told me to read these books in my own time blah 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 and that <laughs> to me is a really really bad sign and it's not a good trait for any graduate to have to me it feels as though that graduate is very lazy you know he, he only wants to do the learning on his time in, you know in, in company time and doesn't want to go beyond that to expand his own knowledge. And in engineering, there is so much that you need to learn. And especially when you're a young graduate, you want to kind of step up and be ahead of a game. So you want to absorb as much knowledge as you possibly can. And when a graduate says that he doesn't want to be, you know, doing reading outside of work hours is just not a good look. If I could only offer one piece of advice to a fresh graduate, that would be to remember to keep absorbing as much information as you possibly can. And you can do this in many, many different ways, reading books, asking questions, you know, getting involved in lots and lots of projects. As long as you keep developing, that's going to be really, really good for you. What you really don't want to do is be like this grad, which I had this interaction with, and is to be, or kind of show that you're a bit lazy. In engineering, where everything is so fast paced, you you don't want to be that guy who gets left behind because if you leave gaps in your knowledge, a few years down the line, it's going to catch up, you know, catch up to you, and people will be like, "How do you not know this? You know, this is really, really basic information, which or basic knowledge which you should have known." And if you brushed over it when you were a grad, it's much harder to kind of fill in those gaps in information without being caught out basically. I remember when I first joined Hydrock actually, um, the first project which I got involved with was a, a masonry structure on a concrete transfer slab and I had never done a masonry building before and my manager at the time was like I don't really have much time to guide you but here's a really really good book and it's about I don't know 100 200 pages long and obviously I didn't read it all but he said look just take this home and flick through it and if you've got any questions just come and ask me and I did just that over a you know, couple of nights I took it home for maybe a week and yeah that's that's basically how I learned and it never occurred to me that I wasn't meant to be doing that and I was perfectly fine the expectation of me was this is perfectly fine there's a gap in my knowledge you know I'd been in the job for a year didn't have any experience in masonry design and I've got a masonry project which I need to do so I need to catch up, so I need to spend some extra time learning information about masonry structures. You know, that didn't occur to me that this was wrong. I was, it never occurred to me that, oh my God, how could my manager possibly ask me to do this? And you know, how could he possibly ask me to do some extra learning, some extra work, which I'm not gonna be paid for? That's a bad attitude to have. I mean, obviously you don't wanna be doing this every night, but when the time comes, when you feel like you've got a tiny bit of gap in your knowledge and all you have to do is spend like an hour reading this document or reading this book, that's not a big deal. So just remember that you need to continually develop your knowledge, just like I'm doing now with this book. 
This is going to show me, you know, a different world which I'm in at the moment, which is expert witness work. This is going to help me, help me develop. And everyone is learning. Even people with 30 years of experience, they won't know everything. So everyone is learning. And if you ever feel that you're, if you feel that you know everything, that's a bad point to be in. You don't want to be like that. You always need to know that you don't know everything or there's a better way of doing something which you already know how to do. So just to wrap this video up, if you have a manager or you have colleagues that are saying, read this book, read this, go check this out, do it. Because more likely than not, that information is really, really valuable. They've obviously, they're, you know, they're obviously pointing you in this direction because they've learned the stuff which they know from these books. Engineering, it's a very, very busy environment. Not everyone has time to do a one-on-one -on -one session with you to teach you everything. One of the best things I found is you go out, is in you yourself, go out, try to do some research. And within this research, or within, you know, you're trying to learn by yourself. And then you come up with some questions, write them down, then ask you know, your managers about these questions. Rather than approaching them with just a Massive example was like, I don't know how, you know, or a massive topic like, can you teach me how to design a concrete beam? That, I, in my opinion, is not a good way to approach um, your colleagues or your seniors on how to learn something. It's way better, I feel, if you try to go work for an example on how to design, say, a concrete beam, and you're not sure about this equation, you're not sure why you need to use these values, or you're not sure what this means. Then you go and ask your manager how, you know, this specific question on this topic. This will demonstrate to them that you've tried to learn by yourself, that like you've clearly tried to learn by yourself, and you're just asking for some pointers. You're not asking for like one-on-one -on -one coaching or one-on-one -on -one tutorial on how to do something. Anyways, I hope you found this short video useful, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.